Welcome to our tutorial about the Visual Studio user interface. When we open Visual Studio or Visual Basic Express Edition, we see the Start page here. Click in this panel to obtain the latest developer information from Microsoft. This panel lists our recent projects. We would click here to open or create a project. Below is the Getting Started panel for newcomers to Visual Studio. If you don't see the Start page, select View from the main menu and then Other Windows and release your mouse over Start page. Now let's go to the File menu, select New, Project. Here I'll select the project type, Visual Basic. I'm going to choose a template, Windows Form Application. We'll leave the project location and the name with the default entries in these fields and click OK. Now we see the container window for Form 1. On the right hand side is the Solution Explorer window. Let's pin it down. Below the Solution Explorer windows is the Properties window. On the left hand side is the Toolbox. When I mouse over this button, the available tools will slide right, becoming visible. Let's pin the Toolbox down so it stays visible. Now it's on permanent display. The controls or classes listed in the toolbox can simply be grabbed and dragged to the form window. While I drag, there's a blue line that helps me align my controls. If you don't see the toolbox, select View and Toolbox. The same goes for the Solution and Properties windows. I can grab and undock the toolbox. When I undock it, a number of position icons appear. If I mouse over these icons, I see in blue a preview of where the box will be docked. Let's dock it again at the left side of our screen. If I right click here, I see a list of options floating, dockable. That's what's currently selected Tab Document. If I click on the pin and the toolbox becomes floating, I won't be able to drag and dock it elsewhere. When I right click, the first three options will be grayed out. All I see are the hide and auto hide options. Let's pin it again. The same applies to the solution window. If I drag it over the position icon, I get a preview of where it'll be docked. If I drag it over the Properties window, I can also see where it'll dock. If I undock the Properties window, it can be docked inside the Solutions window as you see here. When I double-click, the windows dock automatically. Now, as you can see, OK, now I have docked all three windows in the same position. You see the tabs here. Once again, we can simply close them. Let me just make some additional adjustments here to the positioning. Oops. All right, let's resize it back. On the property window, a number of properties for each control are displayed, along with a brief description of their meanings. We can view these properties by category or alphabetically. We can expand and collapse the property trees. These two buttons let us toggle between properties and events for each control. We can also select we can also select controls from this drop-down menu. If we select more than one control, only the common properties of the selected controls will appear. In my case, that's font, for example.
If I change the font, the font of all the selected controls will also change. On top of the solution window are a number of buttons Design View, Code View, One more tab appears here now. Now we have the design view and the code view. If you don't see these tabs, please go to Tools, Options, and under General, select Tab Documents under Window Layout. Let's click OK. Here we can also view all files and refresh. Right-clicking on the toolbar gives me a drop-down menu from which I can select a number of different toolbars. Another important command is Customize. In the Customize dialog window, we have a Toolbars tab and a Commands tab. On the right are the commands that we can add to each toolbar. We simply grab and drag if you want to add any particular tool to your selected toolbar on the left. Let's close the window for now. A number of other windows are available by selecting them from the View menu, for example, Error List. We can drag and drop this window into an appropriate position. I'm going to close it for now. And this concludes our tutorial on the Visual Studio user interface.